Hey everybody, it's Holly from Hunter Ryan. So as you see, I am at a table. I am sitting on my happy classics thing. And I got my legs up on a bin that's underneath here. So I do have the door open because it's actually nice and cool today. So I'm just kind of letting it cool. But that does mean that the dehumidifiers tend to be running nonstop. Um, just, it, but I have them set at like 30, so they're going to keep running. So before I start the videos that I'll be doing next, which are going to be working on shoes and bags, which that's why I've set up this table and everything down here. I'm going to start working on these so many shoes and purses that I have that need a little work, but I am going to be joining Lori Atada um, of Boston Found, and um, I'm trying to think. There's a couple other people that I follow that are also um, like Melissa from Vindy's Closet um, has said she's also going to be doing No Thrift. Um, I keep wanting to say No Thrift Thursday, but it's No Thrift February. So I do have, this box came, I think I have one more box of Shop Goodwill um, still from last month coming. I have um, a 10 handbags for 150 from ThreadUp. And on Friday, I have my um, fifth 200 pound um, bulk from ThreadUp. So... I do have that stuff still coming in that were ordered before, but the main thing about, and I'm really glad I saw that, that Lori's doing this, um, and kind of getting, getting on board with it is that y'all know how crazy it is in my thing. And I really do need to get the whole thing done, um, down here in Poshtopia so that I can get all the stuff that needs to be processed over on that side. So this side can just be stuff I'm actually working on and um, the items that are already listed and inventoried. So having an entire month, and I may even go, have to go into March just because y'all know I don't have a pile. I have a mountain range of stuff. So, I will be doing, I will be doing some haul videos still because I do have some stuff still coming in, but what I'm going to start doing, um, especially over this next month, maybe two of minimal thrifting. Oh, I do also have my monthly B&G subscription that's going to be coming in. So, what I'm looking at doing is because I get like so much stuff in it and then it takes me so long to process things and especially if I'm having a bad week or you know a couple days or whatever um I'm going to start doing a hauls of what I'm actually pulling to process that week um or I may do it as a review of okay here's what I I completed this week and if I'm not able to complete anything that week because issues, we'll talk about that too. So, what I'm going to do right now is the Shop Goodwill order. And then I'm going to start working on some shoes and purses. Show you guys the tools that I use. Um, and what I do. Okay, so this actually had some things that I got for me. And not a lot of stuff for reselling. Um, but we do. This is what we got for reselling. So these are Cole Han, And they are patent leather. Black patent leather. Um, they do have some kind of big scuffs on the side there. So this is going to be stuff that I'm going to show, show you guys how to fix and get 
all cleaned and ready to go so I can start getting all these shoes and bags. I got like way too many thousands of dollars sitting in this room, not listed. So, really cute Cole Haan. They do have a couple issues on the leather, patent leather, but it doesn't look like it's scratched through. So, I will show you guys my uh, Vernus Rife and how I get that off and get those clean um okay and then these are really cute so these are um tommy hilfiger and it's a black velvet with um patent leather oh these are so sweet so you got black leather and patent leather it's also got patent on the on the face there super cute little black um, these are the 12ZC, um, and these are size 8. So, very cute. All right. Um, I think this is a suit. Uh, yeah, this is a suit, and it is actually new attack. Sorry. Um, I didn't turn on my notifications and apparently Nicole State is having a premiere right now of her closet and it's exploding. So this is United Colors of Benetton which is making a very big comeback now since I guess the 80s are new again. Um, looks like it's a size 48. Um, but I thought this was a really sweet really nice for summer um there's a couple spots i'm seeing on the back here but that's another thing that i've got down here i've got my cleaning solution so yeah and right here it looks like this is probably from oh yeah it's straight down it's on the folds so it's something that happened on the folds of it because it's all like right on the folds there's little spots so i will probably have to remove the tags from these to clean them really good and then i'll just pop them back on um but yes yeah, so this size 48 really nice lined suit jacket the suit doesn't seem to have any of that um there's a little bit right here but very nice suit. Okay, and then we have, I think this is another leather cut. Oh, I sold, um, that's the other thing I can talk about when I'm cleaning. Um, I sold a vintage black long leather coat today. Um, woke up to that sale, so I guess it happened overnight. Um, and that's already been sent off and it was kind of cool because the, the title had a, it had a studio, it said studio in the name. And this is why I paid, um, this is, who are you? Uh, this is Wilson's Leather Company, Leather Experts. This is really nice. I love the hoodie. Okay. And it is belted and it has zipper sleeves. So it was super cool. Um, so it was a studio. So I'm thinking LA studio. It, maybe this is like a wardrobe department has ordered this for a movie. So if it is, I'll let them know. Hey, I've got a bunch more stuff from that same era. You know, would you like me to do a pool for you? What kind of looks are you looking for? Kind of thing. Maybe get, get a connection there. Um, but it ended up being a studio for a fashion designer. So that's kind of cool. So I guess it might be getting mixed in with, uh, some of their fashions. I'm exciting. Okay. So this is, I got this for me and it is a Dymo. Dude, it's still got the stuff on it. So this might've been a store donation so hopefully it works yeah it's got all the bugs and everything the print, printer thingies still in there so we'll see since i am setting it up down here um 
I will still probably use my um, my regular printer for like when I get orders overnight and I just want to print the label out so I've got it ready. I can grab it in the morning. Um, I just, cause a lot of times it's a lot nicer not to have to be stuck to a computer. Um, but I am going to be setting up a shipping station down here. So this will now get set up with that down here. So maybe like I can start doing a you know, once a day, kind of pull thing like a lot of people do instead of pulling all the time like I do. Oh, this one, there's another pair of shoes in here. And they are, of course, Coach, because I get tons and tons of Coach. Which was kind of funny, because there was just um, the Coach five purses, five Coach bags for $90 or something. Maybe it was $60. Um, was just up on ThreadUp, and I kind of laugh about that because I get so much coach um, using my system on Shop Goodwill that I ain't spending that much money on coach. I get this stuff for six, seven dollars, including nice purses. So, and that's what we're going to work on today. So, these are very cute. These are probably like an eight or a nine. See, now that I'm, like, kind of undersizing, because all the other times I was like, oh, these are big. These are probably, like, a 10. And then they're, like, an 8. And I'm like, okay, that's smaller than me. <sighs> I don't know why I cannot find the size on this. Coach usually is not that hard to find the little printout. It's usually underneath here. No, no. If I have to measure and get in there with a flashlight. But they're cute. Really cute little flats. Alright, and then the last thing that I have in the order is because I've thought about doing some tile work. But these are usually like really expensive and it was actually pretty inexpensive um so this is um a tile cutter so if anything i can resell it on um facebook marketplace and i'll pay for this yeah so i got it for the dollar bid and one, two, three, six, seven. So it was seven items. Um, the Dymo, I bid $33. Um, the shipping was $14.27. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's like $2.10 each on shipping. And then the handling is $32, which I think is like $4. 450 each so the dynamo probably cost me right at 40 of the 90 so 50 dollars for the other six items so so this is under 10 bucks i can definitely resell it uh, even if it's facebook marketplace for more than what the average cost on it was so it can pick up some of the cost of my dynamo. So uh, that is it for that stuff. Um, I did just sign up for um, this past weekend on Friday. I signed up for Uvendu and started using that. Um, I was mostly cross-listing items. And then last night, um, I started like delisting and relisting on Poshmark and I've gotten like a really good result doing that so I think I'm going to go through and do start using because what I was doing on closet clear out is just once a month I'll do a closet clear out I'm not doing it every single time it's available because I think it's like two times a week it's available so if you do it every time then people 
get used to the idea that you're just going to get cheaper. So there's no incentive for them to jump when you say, okay, prices are dropped and then I'm relisting. Because if you're doing every single closet clear out, you're doing it twice a week. So from now on, once a month, I will do a closet clear out drop my prices on everything to the lowest I'm willing to accept and then everything is going to get delisted, relisted. This way it is reactivating as a new adjust in item so that will help I think a lot more than what I have been doing is like I would still relist it so that the next time there is a closet, cl closet clear out you know, it's not doubled up. It's not dropping a lot more than I expected it to drop when I say the 10% um, drop. So that will be my new thing that will keep all of my stuff in my closet staying nice and fresh um, for new eyes to check it out. Um, it It is going to you know, you're going to have a month to get stuff or it's re being realistic. I'm not sitting here just holding stuff for people to like and not ever buy. So if you really did actually like it and want to buy it, then you're going to have to research it uh, every time that once a month when I read list because it's not helping me. So got my wonder cleaner um, right there. The, We'll do some touch-ups on that. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. It's 16 minutes. We did this kind of quick. Um, I am using my iPad to film this because I somehow have lost the ring that holds my phone onto me, my ring light. And I actually I was hoping that this was going to get... It, it is like a better thing for being able to see my hands um, when I'm doing the cleanups and everything of stuff that's fixing to happen. So I will see you guys in the next video. It will be a come and clean shoes and bags with me. Um, I have a huge bin full of coach bags that we're going to be working on first. Um, I also pulled, I have a bin... Is that a, I think the bin's right there. I have a bin of stuff that I pulled. Oh, it is right there. I have a bin of stuff that I pulled, especially um, for some of these cleaning videos. There's a couple. I do not have my olive oil down here right now because I'm going to wait and do that after everything else is done because I just don't want a chance of that cross-contaminating anything. But I will be doing a couple videos on how to um, give a new life to a, um, a leather bag that may have like water spots and stuff like that. Discoloration on it using olive oil. Um, it brings the luster back to the leather and it also will make it a dark, a dark tone um, pretty evenly so you're not going to have those spots those spots will actually kind of become the color of the leather so bye time to get to work